today we're going to be chroming a Daft Punk helmet. It's already been based, which is basically a clear coat. I got an automotive clear provided by the Alsa company. I use two tanks of water, one to clean off the sensitizer, one to clean off after you use the chemicals for chroming. You got to use deionized water. You can see here, it's reading 0, 0.00. Got to read that, otherwise it won't work. And you use the same type of water to mix your chemicals with. You got your sensitizer, you got your deionized water, and I use this setup from Angel Gilding because the setup that also gives you is nice, but your hand's about to fall off when it's all when you're all done, and it sprays both chemicals at the same time, as you can see. So it works really good. So we start out with the sensitizer. I put this on a cake batter or cake decorator thing so that it it's easier to work with. Put this aside. And you just start soaking it with this. Make sure you get all the corners, all everything like that. And when you mix your chemicals up, you, you do have to let them sit for about an hour. That way they reach like full potency. And then, actually, let me do this a little bit. I don't want that overspraying into, into the water tanks. get every angle really good. Spray that on, you let it sit for a little bit, 10-20 seconds. But don't be afraid to use a lot of this stuff because it's the cheaper of the chemicals that you're going to use. Alright, see my hand's already about to die. Especially get in these ear pucks real well. I like to use the tanks because no matter what, you're never gonna get all the chemicals out of there, and then one little one little drip of it discolors your chrome and it screws up the whole process. So alright. Let that set for about 10 seconds. And then I honestly I stay far away and I just mist on a light layer. When you see it flowing smoothly, you know it's going right not beating up like it used to. Hit all the all the edges because it doesn't like to stick to the edges. So looks like everything is looking good. Alright. Then I like to take just regular deionized water. And just get the bulk of it off of there. Make sure like a ton of it's still not on there. Use this one too. Alright. It looks like everything's flowing. Ah, pot could probably use a little bit more of this. You want to do this until it's completely smooth on there. Otherwise, chrome's going to have little pinholes all over it. Alright, let that sit for a second again. Pump this up. Alright. Spray it all off. Spray the bulk of it off. see the chemicals will hide in the little holes it'll hide everywhere so that's why probably 95% of it's off of there right now but I like to dunk it once it's dunked you got to be careful you can't touch any area where there's clear coat shake it off a little bit you know it's 100% clean now nothing on it and it's sheeting very nicely there's no pinholes so it's ready for chroming all right, now you take this, you get pumped up again, and you start. Takes a little bit for it to take. 
But once it starts going, you see the chrome going. Let it sit for a second. Give it another pump or two. You let the chemicals do the work. Don't be afraid that it's not completely covered on the first pass. Just means you got to put a little bit more on there. Get all the edges real good. Okay, and you can take a break, spray a little, spray a little water off. Rinse a little bit of the chemicals off. And then put more of this on. Just make sure it's really coated nicely. Like I said, the edges are the worst because they don't take the chrome very well. So, there we go. And see how it has a goldish tinge to it right now? That'll go away once you dry it. So, there's that. Pump this up. Hit it one more time with a little bit of water. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it a little bit more with some chrome. Just mist it on there, let it do its job. Alright. One more time with the deionized. Get it somewhat rinsed off. And I like to use a bigger tank because you cannot, cannot touch this chrome fingerprints will show up everywhere on it. You dunk it, make sure it doesn't hit the sides. Shake it off a little bit. There it is. And now, you gotta blow it off. Oh, Dave. not 100% perfect but takes a little bit of practice but this is the technique I found that works the absolute best and cut <laughs> 